Wouldn't it be great if you could take the output of one rail clone object and use it as a segment inside another, all while retaining full instancing and in the same graph? Well now you can, RailClone 4 introduces nested generators, allowing you to connect the output of an L1S or an A2S node to any of the segments inputs of another generator. There's no limit to the number of levels you can nest, allowing you to use the plugin in ways that were impossible in previous releases. To illustrate, let's create a couple of simple styles for hanging lights. In the first example, we have a single hanging pendant, split into three pieces. By wiring these pieces to the start, the default, and the end of an L1S generator, I can create a single pendant with an adjustable height. Now, let's add an A2S generator to create a 2D array from this. In RailClone 4, we can take the output of this pendant's generator and wire it straight to the A2S generator's default input. And at this point, the L1S generator is behaving similar to a standard segment. Note though the rotation. Because the array is built on the x-axis, it remains that way when added to the second generator. And we actually need this light to be rotated to hang down from the ceiling. We can do this just like we would any segment, by adding a transform operator and using the fixed rotation properties. Also, as this is meant to hang from the ceiling, we'd like the top of the light aligned to the A2S generator and not the bottom. Once again, this is just like a standard segment, so we can fix this by changing the z-alignment property to top. So far, so good. What makes this so powerful is that each time a nested generator is placed in the second array, its properties can actually be different. For example, we can add a random number node to the x length, and now suddenly each pendant is a different randomized length. In RailClone 4, this also retains full instancing, making very large, flexible, and randomized styles possible. So it doesn't stop there. Nested generators have full access to the properties of arrays further down the chain, allowing you to create sophisticated and intelligent models. In this next part, which gets a little bit more complex but only because we use a simple expression, we demonstrate how this feature works by using a nested generator's position along the spline to control the length of a string of crystals on a chandelier. And so it starts with a similar setup. An L1S generator is used to create a single string of crystals. A larger crystal is in the end input, and a compose operator is used in the default to alternate between a crystal and the suspension wire. This is then connected to a second L1S generator that's using a spiral spline for its path. Just like the previous example, the nested generator, remember, is created along the x-axis, so it will need to be rotated by adding a transform operator and changing the x-rotation. Also like the previous example to hang down from the spline, we change the z-alignment to top. Okay, so so far so good. Now we want to change the length of these threads based on their position along that spiral shaped spline. Now in this graph we already have two inputs. Input 1 is the minimum length of the strands and input 2 is going to be the maximum length. We'll add an arithmetic operator and connect up these two inputs. So our expression is going to increase the threads in a linear fashion between these two values based on their position along the spline. So first of all we add a return, and this just tells RailClone to output the results of the following expression. Then we add an input 1, remember this is the minimum size, plus, open the brackets, and input 2. And then we want to multiply input 2 by the position along the spline, which is expressed as 0.0, .0 at the start of the spline to 1.0 at the end. So you can, so you can see that the input 2 length will gradually increase as the objects progress along the spline. So to find the variable name that we need here to find that spline's position, you can simply look on the left. All of the connected generators available to this expression are listed. So you can find the generator at the end of the chain, and then look for the x spline position attribute. Double click on it to add it to the equation, no need to remember it and no need to type. And then make sure you close the brackets and add a semicolon, and then hit evaluate. The nested generator's length is now being controlled by its position along the spline, and the length can be easily adjusted using the two exported parameters which you'll find in the modify panel. So this was just a couple of small examples, more to illustrate the principles. In this much more ambitious effort, we can see another example of a nested generator which is being used for the towers of a bridge. In this demo, the nesting was used to allow the bridge's height to be adjusted. 
but we're also able to export the generator's size to using some other expressions that set, for example, the catenary curve, the cables, and several other properties. And also, thanks to the new material handling in Rail Claim 4, we're even able to easily add cars to the bridge style. And actually, the towers are positioned with the new markers too. So these new features open up Rail Claim to many, many more possibilities that were simply not possible in earlier versions. Now you might imagine this is an advanced feature, but actually in many cases the opposite is true. Nesting generators can dramatically simplify your graphs and we recommend introducing it to your workflow as soon as you can. Just take an example. Here's a style based on a recent support case on our forum and it creates a hanging ornament of origami birds. Their distances from the ceiling are controlled by a spline and there's the ability to randomize transforms and also sequence the colors. In the top here you can see the graph created using Rail Clone 4 and it uses nested generators. But here's the same style but in Rail Clone 3. As you can see the Rail Clone 4 graph has far fewer nodes to achieve the same result but more importantly it was much easier and much more logical to create. <laughs>